It was really dark that night. The surf was pretty big. The call came in of a boat in the surf at Wind and Sea. We knew the direction of the swell and it was hit, hitting La Jolla pretty good. 10 to 12 foot pounding surf has capsized a lobster boat, tossing out five lobster fishermen into churning waters off Wind and Sea Beach in La Jolla. We didn't know how many people, we didn't know what size boat. We just knew that when our people are in the water, we're gonna go fast, so we're gonna get up there as quickly as we can. San Diego lifeguards Jim Lockwood and Ryan Damon headed to Wind and Sea by surf boat, while fellow lifeguards John Ball and Chris Ingalls responded from La Jolla. We could hear people screaming for help. I couldn't really see the waves at all. I could barely see a white hull of a boat that was overturned. The ocean conditions made it extremely dangerous for Ball to reach the fishermen. The first couple times, I got blown into the beach. It was so powerful. Ball pushed through the waves, reaching one of the exhausted fishermen who was wearing a life jacket. I just held on to him until we blew into the beach. I looked down and saw John's strobe light on his buoy washing around in the shoreline, and I thought maybe he had a victim down there. Ingalls sprinted down the beach to reach his partner. He was in the, in the shore break, and then he said there were some more people outside, so I jumped in, swam out. Right when I got to him, a big set came through, pushed him inside. I went back out, grabbed the, those other two victims, took them into deep water and waited for our surf boat to arrive so we could load them up on the surf boat. We got on scene and Chris had two guys with him. After we loaded them up on the boat, we knew we were, we were missing one person. Meanwhile, lifeguard Ball, now exhausted, swam back through the crashing surf to rescue another victim. I went out for the second victim who is kind of in the same precarious position. While fighting to get the exhausted man through the surf, Ball himself fought for every breath. I got water in my lungs. I could feel it go in my lungs, but I was definitely scared. The perilous search wasn't over yet. The fishing boat captain, a non-swimmer, was still missing. We knew there was somebody else out there. Lifeguard Ingalls, an experienced diver, dove under the capsized boat to see if the victim could be beneath. Despite their brave attempts to search for the missing captain, they were unable to locate him. When there's big surf at night, boy, it's a serious combination where experience is the biggest determining factor on how, how basically you're going to react and how things might end up. Together, this lifeguard team faced perilous conditions, showing courage, determination, and compassion. The fact that they both got to victims right away uh, in this pounding surf, it's a 10-foot shore break with just foam balls, you know, six to eight foot breaking, uh, it's just a testament to their strength and endurance to get through that surf line. I really wouldn't consider myself a real hero. That's kind of the job I'm tasked to do. No, I'm not a real hero because we, we're doing something we love to do. Even though that I'm out there by myself in the water or the boat's out there by themselves, it's still a team a team effort. It's just what we do. I don't think of it when I'm going out driving the boat through the surf that I'm going to be a hero that day. It's just the main focus is just trying to help people.